Hey everyone, so here's an update on the Trayvon Martin case. I just saw on uh, MSN.com that the 911 calls uh, were released and show that the shooting of Trayvon Martin was not self-defense. Um, maybe both. I'm not sure. There's just someone screaming outside. Hey, okay, what's the address that they're near? Okay. And is it a male or a female? It sounds like a male. And you don't know why? I don't know why. I think they're yelling help, but I don't know. Just send someone quick. Okay. Does he look hurt? <laughs> I can't see him. I don't want to go out there. I don't know what's going on. So they're sending. So you think he's yelling help? Yes. All right. What is your you don't know what you're doing? Just there's gunshots. You just heard gunshots? Yes. How many? This one. Jimmy, get down. No, come here. Is he no Dude, longer yelling? No one. I don't know. Jeremy, get in here now. Jeremy, get up here. All right, is he right outside? Yeah, pretty much out the back, yeah. Is he in front of it or behind that address? He's behind my house. Okay. Just stay away from the windows. I don't hear him yelling anymore. Do you hear anything? No, I don't because I'm hiding upstairs. There's a, there was a gunshot right outside our house. I mean, you've obviously sent someone already, right? Yes, it's in dispatch. What's your name and phone number? My name is... My phone number... How do you spell your last name? Do you hear any vehicles leaving or anyone else? Do you hear anything like There's that? people yelling out there, but I don't want to go down there, so. Okay, multiple people are yelling now? Yeah. Okay. All right, well, we do have officers on the way. Just call us back if you do hear or see anything else suspicious, like any vehicles leaving or anything like that, okay? Okay. All right, thank you. Bye. Bye. So now that you guys have heard the 911 call, that's just one of eight calls, I'm going to read a bit of the article that was written by the Orlando Sentinel. And it gives you a pretty good insight into what the other callers were saying. And also um, Zimmerman's father clears up whether this man is white or not. Take a listen. It says, calls made to the police show that a teenager, a black teenager, was terrified as he tried to get away from the white neighborhood watch volunteer who shot him. And that the volunteer was not defending himself, as he has claimed. Sanford police released eight 911 calls late Friday. The neighborhood watch volunteer, George Zimmerman, tells a dispatcher in the first call that he is following 17-year-old Trayvon Martin. He says Martin is running, but the dispatcher tells him not to follow the team. Zimmerman had called police to report a suspicious person walking through the gated community. He has said he shot the teen in self-defense. Zimmerman's father said in a letter to the Orlando Sentinel that his son, who is Hispanic, has been cruelly and unfairly portrayed in the media as a racist. So in the beginning of this article, they still refer to him as the white neighborhood watch volunteer, but they clear up what he is later in this article, um, identifying him as Hispanic. Uh, it goes on to quote Zimmerman as saying, This guy looks like he is up to no good. He is on drugs or something. 
This is what Zimmerman told the dispatcher from his SUV. He added that the black teen had his hand in his waistband and was walking around looking at homes. These assholes, they always get away, is what Zimmerman told the 911 dispatcher. Sabrina Fulton, Trayvon's mother, says Zimmerman was chasing him. He was following him, and my son was afraid. He didn't know who this stranger was. Tracy Martin, Trayvon Martin's father, said the calls paint a stark picture of what his son's final thoughts were. That assertion was bolstered by two other neighbors who came forward on Friday. The two women, roommates, came forward to say they heard the teen calling for help. They heard the teen, not Zimmerman, calling for help. One of the women goes on to say it was not self-defense because I heard the crying. And if it was Zimmerman that was crying, Zimmerman would have continued crying after the shot went off. This is Mary Crutcher speaking to television reporters. The case has been turned over to the state attorney's office, which can decide whether to file charges or present evidence to a grand jury. Trayvon Martin's family said they continue pushing for charges to be filed against Zimmerman. We're hoping this doesn't happen again to another family and that America opens their eyes. America will not open their eyes. Uh, th this is just the way it is. And I think that people have to accept that some people are just racist. Some people are uh, prejudiced against others for various reasons. But what cannot happen is you cannot stop fighting against these types of injustices. That's what uh, you need to open your eyes to. As long as human beings exist, there will be racism. I don't care how many laws you uh, enact. I don't care how many people uh, you try to... Um, ostracized for being racist um, people feel the way that they feel based on whatever experiences they've had with those types of people you cannot stop people from being racist I'm sorry that's just a fact but you can also continue to fight against injustices even if there are undertones of racism. Several Sanford residents who spoke to the Associated Press on Friday said they think there would have been an arrest already if the shooter had been black and the deceased had been white. The city is 57% white and 30% black. With that being said, I must add, they said blacks and whites in this city of 53,000 residents were pretty much in agreement that an injustice had been done with no one arrested and that there was no racial divide in how the case is being perceived. 